Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fairy out of a wooden um, clothes pen and um, a little stand for it and then um, some fake flowers. So what you'll need is all in this bag except for the glue and the scissors and you can also use hot glue which works better um, but you can also use Elmer's glue too it works perfectly fine it just takes a little bit longer. Um, inside the bag, you'll have quite a few flower petals. Some are pulled away, some have just the full bud. And you'll have some leaves. And the rubber band is for actually just wrapping around the edge to make sure that it stays still um, while it's drying. Um, that's the only reason why we'll have it on there. Um, some washi tape. And then you have the wooden doll stand and the clothespin. First, wrap the washi tape around the clothespin, which will be the top of the fairy's dress. Next step is to glue on the flower petals which create the skirt. If you are using regular glue, put a good sized dot on the bottom of the tape, then wrap the rubber band around the clothespin until it's dry, then keep repeating until the skirt is finished. If you have a glue gun, it's much quicker and you don't have to wait as long for the glue to dry. Make sure that the clothespin is on the doll stand and that the skirt isn't too long. Take a row of the petals off of the small flower bud and cut a slice in the crease of the petals. Now glue over top of the large petals attaching it to the waist of the fairy. Take another row of the petals off of the small flower bud and cut another slice on the crease of the petals and glue on the other side. Now you will need two leaves to make the wings. Now take the wings and glue it to the back of the fairy. Make sure the wings are on there securely. Now take the rest of the bud and make a hat. And lastly, you can take a permanent marker and just put two dots on the fairy's face for eyes. Well, I hope you guys had a great time making the fairy craft. Be sure to send us a picture, um, either on social media or by email. We would love to see what you've done. And be sure to check out all of our crafts that we have. We have some for adults, we have some for teens, and we have some for kids. 
We'll see you next time. Bye.